New at noon, the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette has published an open letter to its readers in response to claims that a black reporter and photographer were taken off the story of recent protests here in Pittsburgh. As Lisa Washington explains, the executive editor now claims the readers of the Post-Gazette have been subjected to a great deal of misinformation. The open letter, titled Truth, Fairness, and the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, appeared on the Post-Gazette website shortly after 6 o'clock Wednesday morning. The byline is Keith Burris, the executive editor of the paper. The letter is in response to claims that reporter Alexis Johnson and photographer Michael Santiago, both of whom are black, were pulled from covering the police brutality protests in the city of Pittsburgh following the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis. Burris writes that the reporter and photographer were not singled out and banned from covering local protests because they were black. He writes that is an outrageous lie, a defamation in fact. Following the backlash the paper received, Burris writes, we underestimated the power of social media and the corrosive potency of the racist label. He writes that what was done was purely for journalistic reasons and that calling it racism was a tactic as part of a labor dispute. He continues, a tweet was issued and a dialogue followed that editors felt was strong commentary, opinion, on a story the reporter was only supposed to report. And this person was not taken off a story, but was never on it. But there was no warning. There was no, hey, can you take the tweet down? Um, by Monday morning, they had decided that I was no longer able to cover it. I'm disappointed that I'm not out there um, covering these protests. Um, when I put my cameras down and take my uh, press badges off, I'm a black man in America. Burris writes when other journalists repeated the tweet, they also were disqualified from reporting on the protests. Burris also writes that the majority of the reporters who stood with Alexis Johnson are white and that it believes the paper also stands with Alexis Johnson and values her life experiences the way all colleagues are valued. Reporting on the North Shore, Lisa Washington, KDKA News.